Super T Sigma back with the resistance for another one. The resistance again is fighting the urge, resisting the urge to fight against ourselves. Another note or probably some repetition on the subject of handlers. Remember, we talked about handlers before. And let's look at handlers from more of a spiritual level and take a look at some of the cosmic forces that might be at play when it comes to people who are assigned or just in your life to suppress you. It seems like they're always the opposite to your positive. They're always the the pessimism to your optimism. They're always the minus to your plus. These things, these energies, they balance out because when you're facing, when we're facing something negative, it's, it's there to push something positive out of us. Think of it like the trees budding for spring where it has to get very, very cold first and moist and damp before that wood can soften. And then when the temperature changes, that moisture will Cause that wood to be soft enough for something to spring forth from it. Hence, you see the moss first. A lot of us are covered in moss. What we're getting ready to be is blooming, is blossoming, but it's coming with opposition. It's coming with tests, obstacles, trials, tribulations, as they say. It's coming with a lot of challenges. And don't look at the challenges like a bad thing, as if you're falling off or as if you're not on your path. You'll know the difference when you're not on your path, whenever you act out of your character, out of who you believe to be, whenever you're acting opposite of that, then you'll know from what follows that and how that particular set of emotions intensifies that you're on the wrong path for yourself. When you're on the right path, you'll continue to find that sweet spot. And most importantly of all, you'll have control over yourself to a degree where you may not on many occasions. So you'll be able to tell, you'll be able to tell that you're on your path and that you have a handler assigned to you who will challenge you. When you read scriptures, Paul talks about a messenger of Satan to buffet him. And even though he prayed for that thing to go away, grace still covered it where that challenge was only there to make him stronger, to make him more resolute, to make him more concrete, to make him more steadfast in his mission. And those challenges, those trials, those negative entities, those haters, those handlers, those naysayers, they are your biggest supporters because they are the ones that push the fire out of you. Don't be afraid of that fire, of that opposition. You can channel all of that for a constructive end. You absolutely can. You just have to direct it in your mind. When something negative takes place in your life that really frustrates you, instead of cursing the situation for what it is, instead, use that as an excuse to motivate you to make it to the next level, to say, you know what, that setback... That's going to push me into a, ho a whole nother gear. That setback, that obstacle right there. Oh, that's going to make me go even harder at my purpose. Look at it like fuel. Use it to motivate you, to, to add electricity to your spirit. I'm Super T Sigma with the resistance. Stay motivated and self-regulated. Peace.